Good morning everyone. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share um, a uh, how I use the soft molds. I shared those in a previous video on how to use the, the, the paste, the cream for it, and what they look like. And I will share them again just to refresh your memories. And it was these um, the soft molds by uh, Stamperia. They're backwards. So it was the soft molds by Stamperia. And the one I used is the feather one. I had created a couple of them. And this is what they look like already set. So let, I want to share with you what I, what I did. Um, I love to alter boxes. That's one of the things that... I love to do and I don't do it that often mostly I create a new box but uh, very seldom do I alter a wooden box this is one that I picked up at my local thrift store a while back I've probably had it a couple years if not longer and um, and it's it's a little shabby you can tell that it had like some water damage uh, where the MDF uh, swelled up and that's the material that the box is made of and uh, I kind of had to cut it off, but so that's where the shabby comes in as far as shabby chic. And uh, but it was still a beautiful box, and I wanted to create something with it. I, I love the style and everything. Um, in this first compartment over here, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can. This feather here is actually one I picked up at Michaels, and it's just a feather pick. But I did order a gold feather pen. Uh, with a feather in it, but I don't like the feather that that is going to come in it. So I'm going to replace it with that one. Because this is a card or a, a lady's uh, stationery box. So um, right here is where I use that piece. Uh, you can paint it. You can paint it. Uh, you can tear it. You can do whatever you want. So I kind of just tore it uh, like it's a letter because there's a script on here. And I did put a edge on there, like a shadow on there, to look for, like an old vintage uh, ripped piece of paper. Right here in both these corners, I added the Carnation Craft Flowers uh, die cuts. Although on this one, you can't really see it because I glued... Um, I kind of changed my mind afterwards, and I glued a um, just a lace uh, piece on there. And... Um, but this lady right here, I actually purchased this image on Etsy, and it was $5 for the one image. Uh, but you get it like in the reverse image, and it's a full 8 by 10 I believe, something like that. And you get it in uh, different uh, formats. So I did get that online, and it's only the one image, but I felt that, that this image was perfect for this box. Um... On here, I didn't do anything. I glued it down with uh, some liquid silicone, which is, this is the one I used. Uh, but you could use any type of glue that works for you, um, especially when you're gluing down. Um, this is more like clay or something like that. So that's what I used to glue this down. And then I painted the whole thing in this color, and it is a chalk paint. It's this one right here. It's called sheepskin, and uh, I love the color. It's not really white. It's more like an off-white. So that's the color I used, and I will link that. And to bring out the gold in the feather, I did use a couple of inks. One of them was the Martha Stewart satin. I think it's called ballet, the paint that I used. It's a pearlized paint. And then I used the, the marker uh, to bring out the gold in the on the feather and I did use this before a bit this is more like an old gold and I want it like a brighter more uh, metallic gold so I use this one instead I went over it with that and uh, to do to kind of bring out the 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 script on here I use this Inca gold metallic rub is what I use to do that and uh, that tends to dry out I mean, it's it's like a rock, really. It's 
see it's like a rock but I don't throw it away because it's like that when I go to use it I just spray some of my bottled water in there I keep a little bit in a mister and I spray it in there and then I use it they say if you put like a wet wipey in there that it will uh, stay moist mine kind of all of them dried up like that but I still use them um, and then on this side I added this is a tattered lace dye right here and these are ladies gloves lace gloves and I added a couple of the little cameos that my friend Jacqueline had gifted me so I added them to a back because it's got like an oval area on top of the gloves so I felt that was the perfect spot for the gloves and this dye does have the shadow so I did the shadow in a pearl pink so the pink would show through on the lace gloves I added some flowers here and they're not all from one collection it's just what I had it what I felt looked good together and I clustered it up right here um, I did add some um, Mod Podge on this I like to do the matte so it's not really shiny but it's sealed because I printed out the image and if you don't seal it and you spill water in it it kind of the, the, it just becomes like a blob the image so I did seal it and I sealed these as well on this uh, little section right here I don't even know what to put here because it might look big on the video but it's less than an inch wide or maybe an inch by an inch and seven eighths so it's a very small compartment but it's deep so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there uh, I really didn't want to spend too much money like I could probably put a letter opener I mean I've had several ideas but I haven't decided what I'm going to do so anyway uh, then I created some cards to in this box um, but I want to share the box with you first I did add these legs right here I hope you can see them and I painted them again with the same uh, chalk paint that I was using I didn't add any paper anywhere just the, the top so it's all white like that off white all the way around it's all painted all the way around so that's what I did I still need to need to finish painting inside these it's very difficult to paint when the holes are really small but it's deep so I still need to finish doing that I think the thing that I dislike the most is painting uh, a box because you know there's things you've got to prep it before you uh, do anything with it and that's the one thing I haven't finished painting and this uh, chalk paint does have an odor to it so you know but it, it's not a big deal I just don't like to do it so I want to share with you the card that I created let me move this a little bit further back and I wanted everything to match so the cards that I created to go in here are these look at how pretty they are it is beautiful um, or I think it's beautiful that's my personal opinion I uh, added the carnation craft flower corners and I still haven't printed out the layering pieces these do have layering pieces and I thought I had some extras from the happy mail I was working on but I must have sent them all off to someone uh, because I don't have any left so I'm gonna have to print out some more so I can layer uh, the flowers in the corner but the base I made with the Michaels uh, 110 pound that gold uh, the pink tone collection you get like different shades of pink that's the package that I use uh, the paper that I use from that package and I use the lightest one that is almost like a rose gold a very pale rose gold and then I use the quartz that I picked up on Amazon. It's called quartz, uh, which is like a pearl off-white color. I love it. It's it's beautiful. And then I made this uh, oval frame. And this was, I'll share with you what that looks like. Let me grab it really, really quick. It's sitting right here. To For the oval frame, I used this die. It's a Spellbinders die that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby it was clearance for six dollars and twenty four cents it was regular twenty four ninety nine so this is the one and it's called Bella Luce Oval there's the name down here so this is the one that I used to cut out the oval frame and I did cut it out of foam uh, not the filigree but just the 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 oval silhouette and then I cut the filigree with the cut you have the option to cut the 
the center out or not. I cut it out because I wanted to add the lady. Look at the beautiful image. And I did add Wink of Stella to this. And I think this is just the... Um, I think it's just like the iridescent. I don't think it has a color because I know some of them have colors. I think that's just a clear iridescent. So there is shimmer, but, it, but it's not real noticeable unless until you move the card. So it's a very, um, uh, very muted. It's not like in your face sparkle. So, and I love the script right here where the lady is. So that's what I created. And then for the inside, I, um, I printed it out in vellum, uh, the image. I enlarged it because it's a large image. I can scale down. The only time you have a problem with an image is when you try to make it bigger and you bought a small image because it starts to lose uh, the image. It gets kind of grainy, so it's not sharp anymore. But when you buy a big image and scale it down, it works. So uh, I added a vellum insert to the inside. So And I didn't glue it down or anything. So whoever gets this uh, can um, take it to their... Um, to stamp their um, their sentiment on here. I didn't stamp anything because I don't know what it's going to be used for. But they can stamp it on there and look at the beautiful image. It's so pretty. Or they could just, uh, you know, stamp the front with the sentiment and maybe write their personal uh, little message there. But that's what I did. And all you would do is probably add a piece of double-sided tape. Uh, probably right before the score line and just line this up and you would only have to glue the one side down So I did create four of those Here are all the ones that I created look at how beautiful they're all of them are exactly the same So I love the way they came out Another thing that I created were the I'll put these back in their spot where they go I think it looks beautiful That's my personal opinion then I created these uh, three by three cards, uh, pretty much basically the same thing, except I added the oval frame from the, let me grab it really quick. It, that's a Kim Holtz 3D embossing folder, the little ones. I think I have it here. I thought I had left it out so I could, yeah I did, it's up here. And that one is this little 3D impresslet uh, embossing folder that has the die embedded. So that's the frame that I used for this, again with the, um, with the pearl paper quartz. And the base again is that pink. I wanted everything to coordinate. And then I just added a little satin bow with a little piece of feather bow. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little tuck in piece, tucked in piece of feather boa. And then the little, uh, the buttons are all pink, like a vintage pink, but they're all different shades, but they still work. I didn't have four of the same. But here are the, the ones that I made. And I didn't make envelopes for any of them because... Uh, to me, this is something that you would maybe wrap in tissue and lay it on top of a package that you're giving to somebody or putting it, wrapping it in tissue and putting it in a bag. And I think that makes a big statement instead of it being in an envelope. Two, I didn't have the exact color for the big cards to make uh, because they are dimensional. They're not going to fit in a regular envelope. I didn't have a big enough in the same color paper to use my box uh, envelope maker because it, it requires a 12 by 12 and these papers only come in eight and a half by 11 so I want to share the inside with you um, I'm not done with the embellishments I'm still working on that I still need to make bows and stuff but I want to share with you what I have so far so in here uh, I received this little box in a swap in something it was just a clear little box I added the pearl paper on the inside of the lid with double sided paper and then I added the image on the outside of the lid with double, double sided paper, double sided tape. 
um, and I did the same so you can't see the tape because there's paper inside the lid and above the lid and then I added these little corners that I picked up um, I usually pick them up especially when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby and it's by spare parts and I used almost a whole pack and I added the corners there and I did add the wink of Stella and what I housed in here and it's clear on the back what I put in here are the wax seals if the recipient decides to make envelopes because even if she made like a cream colored envelope or even a white it would still work but I'm giving them that option whether if they want to or not so I made some wax seals but see the, the embossed paper in here I'm going to share with you the envelope I use to do the embossing and I have that one right here and that is this one by Sarah Davies and it is called uh, Rose Garden there's the name right there so this is the one I used and I picked this up a Tuesday morning a couple years ago and I use it all the time I love it so anyway I was playing and testing out uh, the wax and what I did was I did them in pink but I tucked in a little piece of feather boa so when you put it on the envelope it's got like a little shabby piece of feather boa and then I colored the heart in the gold I did the same thing with the cherub one and I only colored the wings and the bow in the gold but that's what and then there's some that say with love some have the feathers and some don't like I did a variety in the box so I personally love the way it looks let me turn the feather this way I love the way they look and I hope that the recipient will like it too so I just used this to this was perfect to house that in the only problem with this box or to me is a problem is that it is in an angle it angles down and you can't put anything very tall in here so you're kind of really limited to what you like you can't put put pretty jars or containers because they will be too tall you kind of have to put everything in here loose so that's the only problem I'm having now I know you're curious about what this is so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and then I'll close up the, the box so I like to make things that I call tag-alongs and what these are I still haven't made tags these are for you to add to your tags a lot of times we'll add a bow to our uh, tags and you can slip this through the center knot on the bow and it's on a large lobster claw clasp and this is a resin heart that I made uh, and I added and I did add the gold with the ink pen with a pink pen and then just a little key right there so that's one of the tag-alongs not sure how I'm going to uh, separate these in there here's another one that I created with a uh, resin this is also a resin one and uh, there's the image again because it was a big image I can like I said manipulate it and get it to do whatever I wanted to do so I brought it into one of my programs put a ring around it uh, to crop it and just uh, cropped it down this is an inch circle and then here's one of those little metal pieces that I just shared with you from uh, from Hobby Lobby one of these um, I added it here after my image had dried I added a little bling here and I wrapped a very pale pink pearl here with a very small four millimeter rondelles that I just picked up and then in the back I added the key and then I added the gold again in the back the this mold was gifted to me by my friend Carolyn and it's a hand mirror and so I'm trying to do everything that fits in this era or that goes with this era that's why that's where the difficulty comes in for me and then um, I use red uh, resin color to make the pink ones and it's so potent you just need a little bit and sometimes it even a little bit is too much so there's the difference in the colors but I just went ahead and ordered some pink that way it's all consistent this is a paler pink this is the color I really wanted again there's a little bling there I did add uh, glossy accents to the image and I and I did uh, use my pink pen to mark around the circle here's the little metal piece there's again the little pearl with the rondelle in the back 
this one has a little rose charm that somebody gifted me in a secret Santa swap, I believe, that I hosted a while back. And then I did add the gold and the, you know, little highlight, the little details. So there's that one. These two white ones I made with clay because my resin was old. I normally don't use all my resin. And nine times out of ten, it just goes bad. Uh, but I only had a little bit left, so I didn't feel too bad this time. Um, I didn't, it wasn't setting up correctly it was still tacky it was taking too long and this is supposed to set in 10 minutes so I knew something was wrong that it was probably old because I was making sure to measure correctly uh, so these I made out of clay again I did the same thing I added the um, what do you call it glossy accents to shine up the image I, I did uh, circle it in the gold I added the little metal piece here and the little bling there and I tried to glue the bell on. This one needed a bell. Because it's made of clay and it's not the clay that you bake, I feel like it's not that strong. So I didn't want to drill a hole in it. I had to drill a hole in the pink ones because I felt that it would not hold up and I didn't want to damage it. So I had to glue a bell. It didn't work with the uh, glossy accents because it came off. But I used this stuff right here and it seems to be working. It's called Quick grip contact cement and that's what I use and that seems to be working again I highlighted the filigree that's on the mirror with the gold pen there's the bail and on this one I didn't add any charms to it yet I have to add a jump ring to the charm that I'm going to add there and I haven't done it and here is one that does have the little pearl charm same thing same thing added the bell again had to do it with the had to do it with the um, the quick grip because it wouldn't stay. But so far, guys, that is what I have. I hope that you like what I created so far. I am going to add some tags probably because I can lay the tags flat in here. And maybe some bows and maybe a little bit of flowers because I feel like these cards really don't need anything else. Unless the recipient wants to add a cluster of flowers over here in the corner and a bow. So that's why I'm going to do that. But um, this is not really an embellishment box. This is more like a lady stationary, um, stationary or card box. The One of the ideas that I had was to add some kind of um, like oil, fragrance oil. And uh, to mix it up and put it in one of these little bottles so whoever was using it or receives it, they could spray their card and it would have a pretty fragrance. But I'm not sure. Or uh, add some, uh, some of that glimmer mist, like if they wanted extra glimmer. So those are some of the ideas that I had. But I'm not sure if I'm even going to do that because um, I would have to learn how to mix those oils. And if I mix it with water or alcohol, I'm really not sure. So I'm not sure I'm going to go there. And the extra hole on top, I don't even know what I'm going to add there because they're so small, it's kind of hard to put anything in there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy my project and I hope that you try it. Carolyn, thank you so much for the mold. This is the first time I use it and I absolutely love it. I did order some more resin so I can um, make some more of these because I really like the way they came out. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.